Uh, the Delta Welcome Center was stood up uh, in April 2020 in order to allow social distancing among the shelters in El Paso City and County. Uh, since standing up between the Delta Welcome Center and the Delta Haven, we've served about 2,906 unduplicated clients. Uh, and we've had no COVID outbreaks within the facility. And we've had a great screening process that caught all COVID positive people at the door. And we've kept that number to 82. The Inspira shelter was also set up as a overflow for the Delta Welcome Center and Delta Haven for clients with a higher acuity that could live in a non-congregate shelter. Uh, we took over a hotel, turned it into an emergency shelter with 80 rooms, and we have housed 251 clients since November. The transportation program was started for the city and county of El Paso in order to screen, schedule, and test the homeless clients and the workers at shelters all throughout the city and county. Uh, we, we had a fleet of four vans, uh, eight drivers, and a liaison. And since starting, we've provided over 3,000 rides for the city and county. These services are immensely important and they all work in conjunction with each other. No service alone has helped the, the city or county any one way. Uh, for instance, the transportation program has allowed us to screen and test everyone coming into the shelters across the city. The Welcome Center has been the primary intake for all of those people, and that's been able to reduce any kind of outbreak randomly throughout shelters in the city. We catch everything there at the door, we screen the clients, we distribute them out to the shelters in a, in a much safer way than them just walking in off the streets.